think I'll ever fully know myself. And I think that's a good thing because that means I'm changing and evolving, right? Like growing and stuff. And so I, I have continued to have like these identity crises because yes, I do need to get to know myself, but also that self constantly changes. So I wanna show this article that one of my students wrote. She just got it published um, this summer. This is for Shondaland. So just Google Shondaland and this title or, you know, Lindsay's name. And it'll come up. It's beautiful. And it's really funny. And what she talks about there, um, even though it's, you know, about being a mother, it's a very relatable thing. And I also love when mothers talk about the reality of being moms and how that, you know, all of a sudden all your time and energy and care and everything's about them. These little things that, you know, almost die all the time. And then that in and of itself is going to change you. And it doesn't even mean, matter if you have the most like loving, supportive, like hands-on partner. This still seems to happen across the board way more so if you're like a married single mom or whatever but it's just the reality of being a parent and especially a mother if you're breastfeeding and all that other stuff right you are forever changed your body has changed your relationship to your body like your whole life is forever changed and thank you mothers for continuing to do this thank you parents the parents who actually do stuff thank you anyway so what she's talking about is how, you know, she used to sleep with strangers and travel the world and do like crazy wild adventures that were really random and spontaneous. And that's who she is and how that is what gave her, you know, her, her kicks. And now one of her favorite things to do is to clean the kitchen. Like how weird is that, right? And yet it makes total sense. When you have two small children and the whole, everything seems like it's in chaos and you have no energy and you can barely sleep, you know, and all of this stuff that I don't personally know about, but from what I hear about from others, and I want, I love when mothers talk about the reality of this. Yeah, I could see how wanting a clean kitchen would be very satisfying. And what she talks about that article is like how it gives her a sense of control of something, of one thing she can control. Now, even though I'm not a mom, I can actually relate to that in terms of just the human experience. So I'm in my 40s, and, you know, I used to literally be a outdoor adventure guide. My job was keeping people alive in the most bonkers scenarios. And then in my spare time, I went out and put myself in dangerous situations for fun. That's how I got my kicks. Now, since I've dealt with a lot of my trauma, I don't have a desire to put myself in dangerous situations that make remind me of my family home. <laughs> life as a child. But also, m life is too stressful to, like, create more stress for myself. And so I am constantly getting to know this new version of myself. I mean, look at this. I'm wearing a dress. What? I used to hate dresses. I used to make fun of women who wore dresses. Oh, internalized misogyny. Because I was a tomboy and a tough chick who lived in her truck and I had 31 inch tires. And I was a cool girl. Now, even though I'm like, have really unpacked a lot of that and healed a lot of that, I'm still like a tomboy and I'm still like a mess. My husband finds trash in my pockets all the time. I'm like Pigpen, you know, you can always find me because there's stuff that have dropped everywhere. <laughs> so some things will like probably never change about me and that's fine. That's why he calls me Tornado Rainbow. Just chaos and energy, leaving a mess, but kind of pretty too. And so a lot of times I have this like existential crisis where I'm like, who am I anymore? I'm a coward. I don't go out and like climb anymore. I'm such, I'm such a coward. No. When I talk to other climbers who are my age, a lot of them still love to climb, but they don't do it as much or they do it differently because they're not chasing a high. Life is already stressful <laughs> as you're an adult, right? I mean, when you're dealing with burying parents, taking care of people in your community or your spouse or children, when you're healing a lot of trauma and dealing with PTSD and dealing with a pandemic and a housing crisis, you know, and all the stuff that adults deal with, adults with a lot of responsibility, why am I gonna go get go on a cliff? I love doing that and I do it for fun, but not in like a reckless way anymore. And there's a part of me that's like, God, no, you're such a coward. No, I'm not a coward. I'm brave, but you know how brave it is to get EMDR? and literally like cry all the time and relive your worst moments of your life, that is brave. It's, I would argue it's even braver than climbing. I've also softened, softened a lot. I'm not this rigid, tough girl, right? I'm kind of like, I'm still strong and all that stuff, but I'm not this like binary anymore. I'm just a lot of things all at once. And I think that a lot of people really, we really struggle with leaving, you know, with, that, with starting a new chapter. I'm married now, what? Me? Married? You know, I, I went through my like a schmegual time where I literally had nothing to do with men, was literally celibate for 12 of my adult years, and then like dating a man and almost getting unalive by him, and then taking another break, and then having my tender bender years where I became a, you know, schmegually empowered goddess, and you know, having one night stands and threesomes and like forking dudes in cars and on the beach, and it was awesome. And now I'm married. 
I actually loved all of those stages of my life. And sometimes I miss being single and sometimes I miss like crazy stuff that I used to do. But I, but I really like my life now. I don't know, I just think we should talk about this more. I think it's good to grieve different ch ch chapters of your life. Or my, my husband calls it the <clears throat> next stages of the vid video game. You know, you pass one level, you know, you had all your challenges, you, you get your, your skill set and sometimes like coins or, you know, tools and stuff. And then you go to the next level, which is a whole new set of challenges. I love that metaphor. Anyway, this essay really got me thinking and I'm so proud of her. And please go read it. Again, Shondaland. Um, Google any of this and it'll come up. And if you too are struggling with a new chapter in your life or feel shame about not being the old person that you were or like really coming to terms with mourning that part of your life, um, talk about in the comments. I'd love to hear.